friends and residents, we will go to the polls on Friday, and in your hands lies the power to determine your future, not only in Chua Chukang, but also the whole of Singapore. Look at what your vote has achieved in the last 50 years. Tremendous prosperity and progress. The vote of Singaporeans for the last 50 years has provided a roof over your head. Not zinc roofs, but high-quality HDB living. World-class education for your children, and where many of our children easily qualify for further education anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. And Singaporeans today are qualified for jobs in anywhere in the world too. And that is because you have voted for the party that has always had the interests, your interests at hearts, and the interests of all Singaporeans at hearts. Only one party has kept the faith with you in the last 50 years, and only one party has delivered on its promises. And I'm quite confident only one party will continue to do so. For many of us here, home is, of course, Chua Chu Kang GRC. In my years of serving here, I have been touched by the many strong binds of our people. Last year, we had a dengue situation in Keat Hong. It was a difficult time for many when cases spiked because of dengue breeding at construction sites. But despite the risk to their health, I remember many residents coming forward to say, Sir, I want to walk to you. I want to, we want to join you in walking about to look at dengue prevention, to look at awareness with residents, with the help of any officers and strong support of residents who both risk their own health. Remember, they risk their own health because we were all walking into dengue-infested areas. The cases quickly came down much quicker than many other cases around Singapore. Together, we overcame challenges together, went across obstacles for the benefit of all residents together. Our town council did well too. Last year, we noticed a trend that there was a rat infestation problem. This was much, much earlier before the media picked up on other parts of the island. We acted quickly, worked with NEA to look at new methods of controlling rats. Within three months, we brought down the rat population by 90%. Being proactive in finding solutions before the, the outbreak spread, acting when residents raise issues, and being effective in our execution. So ladies and gentlemen, we are your safety blanket. Sometimes you don't see things because we catch it in advance, but not without the strong support of our residents. Those who say that the kampung spirit is dead have not been to Chua Chu Kang. Through my close interactions with residents, we have been able to identify your pressing concerns and we even have taken many of these issues to Parliament. For example, Alex earlier on mentioned about the NRP, how we fought for more upgrading projects in Chua Chu Kang. For many lifts in Chua Chu Kang GRC, we have also taken this to Parliament and we have brought forward many of the upgrading for our lifts as well. And there will be, we have brought forward 750 upgrading of 750 lifts, many of them in CCK GRC. Instead of waiting for the full cycle of 28 years, we have brought forward the lifts because we care for the safety and comfort of residents. Earlier on, Minister Wong spoke about the food in UT. It's too bad he's not here. But we'll bring you better food in Chua Chu Kang. We will have a hawker centre. Yeah. UT will get to get his own. I'm just joking. But the hawker centre is real. The PAP has been able to work hard in Chachukang because you have given us your support. Do we remember the old opposition from 2011? No, the old opposition is gone. They are long gone. Our opposition today committed to the residents of Tampanese GRC that they will stand again in Tampanese in G20 after G2011. Where are they now? They are in Chachukang GRC. So my question to them is, Will they still be here in G2020? This is about commitment to the people. 
Our residents deserve better. Our residents deserve a stable and committed team to serve you. So please, tell them, don't take our residents for a ride. For the PAP team, Chua Chu Kang residents, you will always be first and foremost to us. So residents and friends, we have delivered on major programs for you to the benefits of our residents, to the benefit of our residents today. But we will also look for tomorrow, towards tomorrow. So Minister Gan, Yen Ling, Elvin and I have worked hard to ensure that transport connectivity has improved and you have seen some results. And there's definitely more that you can find your way. You can, find, you can expect to come your way. These have come after years of hard work on the ground. Not overnight, not because there's general elections. There's no way to have these things just done before elections. You have seen us working, having dialogues to hear you, and many hours with agencies to make this happen, and even in Parliament. And I'm sure Cha Sing will continue Elvin's great work in the five years to come. I will lose a great friend in Elvin, but I think residents of Nanyang, many of you will benefit from the hard work that he's put in over the last nine years. We have fought in areas of transport. In Kiet Hong, we have seen an improvement in bus services, such as 392 have been enhanced and we've received two new feeder services to cater for the new blocks of BTO flats. Helped by resident volunteers, I know many of our volunteers work very hard too. They came at 6.30 a.m. on several times with me to survey in bus intervals. We fought with LTA, we got the buses. In addition, we raised issues on bus interchange congestion at Chua Chu Kang Central. We listened to feedback, we took it to Parliament, and Minister Lui Tuck Yu announced that in three to five years' time, we will have a new bus interchange in Chua Chu Kang as well. So we have plans for the next five years in which Chua Chu Kang residents will benefit from 385 million worth of upgrading projects for various precincts for NRP and HIP. We will also deliver the Walk to Ride program with LTA, which will link many homes within 400 meters of MRT stations and 200 meters of LRT stations to make sure that you have sheltered walkways to these transport nodes, to the MRT and LRT. There will also be new community clubs in Bukit Gomba and Ket Hong, not far from here. The new Ket Hong CC will have a 24-hour gym, bowling alleys, more food outlets, integrated healthcare services, and other facilities. So we have worked hard over the next last four years to bring you plans for the next five. What is important for us is to see them through and execute them well. And, execute them well. and this is what the PAP brings able to listen, able to plan, able to think long-term, and able to deliver. <laughs> Residents, at the debate of the presidential address when we opened our last session of parliament, I spoke on the importance of constructive politics. Constructive politics means putting Singapore and Singaporeans at the heart of each and every one of our policy goals. Serving the people, to me, is about being fair, being honest, and being compassionate. And when I serve, it is also about putting the community before self, the people before self, and the nation before self. I have served in Chua Chu Kang for nine years, and I believe the kampung spirit of Chua Chu Kang will keep us strong and united. Ladies and gentlemen, my colleagues and I are therefore asking for your support so that we can serve you even better for the next five years. With you, for you, for Singapore. The future of your community is in your vote. The future of Singapore is in your vote. Who do you vote? Who do you vote? Who do you vote? Majula Singapura!